Yo, what up guys? Trey here, back in talking about more Telltale's Tales from the Borderlands game, okay? The game that's supposed to be releasing this fall, hopefully not any later than that because I actually want to get my hands on this game now because it sounds pretty interesting. At first, my interest wasn't that high for this game, you know? I really like the Borderlands franchise and Telltale spin on it, it didn't seem too appealing at first because we never really seen, well, I have never really seen Telltale take a humorous side with games, okay? But seeing the new information that I'm getting from a lot of people, so I didn't personally go to PAX Prime and play the game myself. This is spoken from a third person's point of view after reading several articles about what other people thought. Uh, this is me talking about that, okay? So, guys, uh, if you don't know about the game, the game takes place after the events of Borderlands 2, and you pick up from that point, and it's basically, it's being described as a chance for us to smell the Borderland roses, okay? Take a step back, you know, a lot, a lot slower pace and gameplay, telltale sort of gameplay, and actually reflect on the story and the humor of the story what's going on, because in Borderlands 2, you really don't have that much time to, like, dive into a situation like that, because as soon as you get maybe a funny bit or something like that, bam, you're right back in the combat, so you really don't have a chance to reflect on that. Or maybe other characters that have a somewhat depressing story, but it's also turned with a humorous twist, like um, Tiny Tina, for example. You know, we get more chance to, you know, the, uh, focus on that story instead of, you know, just breezing past over it. Because there is a hidden world behind this Borderlands game that hasn't been talked about too much, and Telltale is going to be bringing that to light. And that's basically the purpose of this. And we're seeing that through the eyes of two characters that we are playable as. So at PAX, Telltale only demoed a very short portion of the game, probably 30 minutes into episode 1 where we primarily focus on Reese and we get to learn some more new things about him, alright? He really idolizes Jack and wants to be in that position over Hyperion that Jack was at, okay? That is his dream, that is his goal. And through the demo, we are reliving some of the parts in his story. He's basically telling the story and uh, we are playing through it. At the end of the day, Boylands is still an action game. And I like that Telltale's trying to put their own twist on the action, try to give you more control over the battle. Because that's one thing we don't really get too much of. Usually when uh, a fight pops off or some action scenes come up, we are more reacting than playing ahead and t anticipating our moves. Which is one of the things that happened in this scenario. Uh, Reese is given control of a Hyperion robot, a loader, and he gets to choose what kind of weapons he wants to fight off the bandit horde. And, uh, you know, you get rocket launchers, you get a riot shield, you get grenades, you get to pick which one you want, and it will react differently based on the weapons you choose, which I think is a nice, interesting take, you know, a nice change of pace, too. And also, Telltale is trying to hit us hard with the humor, too, because they have situations where you're running from a fellow vault hunter, uh, Zero, if you remember him, uh, situations where you run into a golden chest and a vault hunter finds it and it gets immediately killed later on, and then that bandit that kills him gets ran over by a car. Just crazy stuff. And even, uh, you know, the porta potties they have in <laughs> Borderlands, where you open them up and you find some guns in there. They have a, a nomad snatching the, the door off a porta potty and using it as a shield. Just using all the stuff that if you play Borderlands before you know how this goes and I think you'll find it more funny too if you're new to the series you may not understand where the humor is coming from or see the direction of the game but I think it's easy to pick up on this and I like that Telltale is trying to you know do their best on this okay so so it sounds very interesting and the demo actually ends with us switching roles taking control of Fiona toward the end and her telling everybody that this whole backstory from Reese is complete trash and she gives her events on it. So that's where the demo ends and we probably gonna dive into uh, Fiona and her character during the second part of the episode. So that's a couple details from the first episode that I can't wait to get my hands on. But interesting enough, we still haven't gotten a date from Telltale Games, which we never do, by the way. But uh, they keep on pushing it back, okay? I've heard reports, like at first they were saying summer 2014. All right, that's going. Then I was hearing fall 2014. All right. And then the recent article I just read, I just heard winter 2014, which is like, damn, what's going on here, man? So, you know, the dates are here and there. We don't know when we're going to get this, but... I wonder if they're trying to coincide the release with the Borderlands, the pre-sequel, okay, which would be pretty interesting. And I don't know how that would work in marketing wise. I guess that's good to have them come out together. And um, yeah, we'll have to just wait and see what Telltale does next. But I want to hear you guys thoughts about this. I didn't get too much feedback on this when I first made my first video about Telltale and Borderlands. So personally, I have to admit, I'm actually more excited for Borderlands, the pre-sequel. I will definitely be playing that, trying to build up a little team right now. So when the game starts up, we can go ahead, run and gun through the whole thing on Xbox 360. It's going to be live. And uh, I just can't wait to hop into that because Borderlands 4 is the perfect number for co-op. I've been saying that for a while now, and I still believe that.
Okay, but anyways, guys, thoughts below. I'm gonna hear what you guys think about this. Do you think the game is gonna be fun and interesting? Of course, I'll be playing it here on this channel, so uh, stay tuned for that as always. Go ahead and smack the like button if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more Game Over Entertainment, more Telltale Game news ahead. And uh, go ahead and follow me on Twitter and Facebook if you want instant updates and maybe gaming related tweets and stuff like that, okay? I'm out of here though. Thank you for playing, but this game is over.